Let me ask you something very simple but very important. The last time a critical application in your organization went down, maybe Microsoft Teams, maybe your VPN, maybe Salesforce. What was the first question that leadership asked? Was it what broke or was it where did it break? Think back to that moment. Your users were complaining, your phone was buzzing, and the incident bridge was opened at 2 in the morning. Everyone was looking at you expecting answers. And yet your traditional tools were showing green lights everywhere. You ran ping, you ran tracer out. Maybe you checked your SNMP monitoring and all of it said everything looks fine. But the truth was something wasn't fine. Users couldn't log in, calls were dropping, transactions were failing and the blame landed squarely on IT, on the network team, on you. Now here's the reality. In today's world, outages are really just inside your data center. They happen across internet service providers, cloud providers, SAAS vendors, and global peering points that you don't own and you can't control. The cost of these outages is huge. A single hour of downtime on Microsoft 365 can cost a large enterprise millions of dollars in lost productivity. Add to that the reputational damage, the stress, the late night firefights, and the fact that without proper visibility, you can't even prove that the issue wasn't your fault. This is exactly the problem that Cisco Thousand Eyes and Isovalens, Cilium and Tetragon were designed to solve. They give you observability that stretches from the public internet all the way down to the kernel inside your Kubernetes cluster. Over the next 30 minutes, I'm going to show you what these tools do, how they do it, what problems they solve, and why they're better than anything you've used before. I'll also walk through real examples, real demos, and the tangible benefits they bring to network engineers security teams and entire organizations. Important to call out this is purely based on my proof of concept and analysis and this video is not a sponsored video. By the end of this video you'll see exactly why visibility is no longer optional. It's the difference between being blamed and being trusted. Let's first understand the visibility crisis. For decades the tools we relied on assumed a very simple reality that you own the network path. If you could monitor your routers, your switches and your servers, you had the full picture. You knew where the packets were going and if there was a problem it was usually somewhere you controlled. That was true in the 1990s, but is it true in 2025? Absolutely not. Take a simple Microsoft Teams call. One user sitting at home connects to Wi-Fi, then passes through their ISP, then across an internet backbone into Microsoft's cloud through Azure Edge services, and finally into an application running on Kubernetes inside Microsoft's infrastructure. Now ask yourself, where in that path do you actually have control? The Wi-Fi maybe, the corporate VPN maybe, but the rest, the ISP in Frankfurt, the transit provider in Amsterdam, Microsoft's peering in Dublin. All of that is outside your visibility. And yet when it breaks, your users don't blame Microsoft or the ISP, they blame you. Traditional tools like Ping, Traceroot, and SNMP are blind to this. They only show what they know. They give you a green status while users are screaming that nothing works and in the middle of an outage, you're left with a credibility gap. This is the crisis we're all living in today. We need tools that can give us observability that stretches beyond our firewalls. We need something that looks across the internet, into the cloud and deep inside modern distributed applications like Kubernetes. And that's where thousand eyes and isovalent come in. One gives you an MRI of the internet, the other gives you X-ray vision inside Kubernetes. 
and together they close the gap between what users see and what you can actually prove. Let's start with Cisco Thousand Eyes. What is Thousand Eyes? At its heart, it's a global network of pure probes combined with lightweight agents you can install in your own environment. These probes and agents perform continuous synthetic tests. They check HTTP performance. They resolve DNS. They trace network paths. They even monitor BGP routing tables across the globe. The result is a living, breathing map of application performance and internet health. Think of it like an MRI for the internet. Instead of looking only at your LAN or your WAN, Thousand Eyes shows you the full end-to-end -end picture. You can literally see where along the global path packets are being delayed, dropped or rerouted. Let me give you a real-world example. In 2023, there was a massive Microsoft 365 outage. For most IT teams, the experience was chaos. Users couldn't connect. Help desk tickets exploded and leadership demanded answers. And most teams had nothing but speculation. But organizations using Thousand Eyes had clarity. Within minutes, they could see which geographies were impacted. They could identify which ISP peering points were failing. They could prove whether the fault was inside Microsoft's infrastructure or in an external transit provider. That's powerful because instead of saying, we're investigating, you can go to leadership and say, it's not us. It's Microsoft. Here is the evidence. Here is the map. Here are the routes. And here are the affected regions. That kind of visibility not only saves time, it saves credibility. It builds trust. The signature feature is path visualization. It looks like Traceryute, but far more advanced. Instead of just a list of IP hops, you get an animated graph showing each node, latency at each hop and packet loss. You can see your own network, the ISP networks, and the cloud environment all on one screen. And Thousand Eyes doesn't stop there. It correlates this data with global BGP routing information. So if an ISP accidentally leaks routes or black holes traffic, Thousand Eyes shows you exactly where and why. Best of all, configuration is simple. You deploy an endpoint agent on a laptop or server or spin up a cloud agent in AWS Azure or GCP, define the tests you want, SAAS apps, websites, DNS resolvers, and the data flows straight into a central dashboard. This is monitoring is built for the world we actually live in today. Now let's look at the other half of the equation, the visibility inside Kubernetes. Here's the challenge. In Kubernetes, workloads are dynamic, pod start, stop and restart constantly. IP addresses are ephemeral. One service might exist in one node today and a completely different node tomorrow. How do you secure that? How do you monitor it? How do you even know what's talking to what? This is the exact problem that isovalence, Cilium and Tetragon were created to solve. Cilium uses a Linux technology called eBPF extended Berkeley packet filter. Without getting too technical, eBPF allows programs to run directly inside the kernel, where they can see and interact with network traffic in real time. With Cilium, you can monitor pod-to-pod -pod traffic with full context. You don't just see IPS and ports, you see identities and services. You can enforce policies that say, this service can talk to that service, but nothing else. You can balance traffic transparently, and you can observe flows with full visibility. Its companion, Hubble, gives you a visual flow map. Imagine opening a dashboard and instantly seeing every service talking to every other service, with lines showing latency, packet drops, and policy decisions. That's what Hubble does. Then comes Tetragon. Tetragon extends this visibility beyond networking into runtime security. 
it hooks into process execution, file access and system calls all using eBPF. That means if an attacker compromises a pod and tries to run a reverse shell, Tetragon sees it instantly. If malware tries to open a sensitive file, Tetragon logs it. If a process spawns something suspicious, you get an alert. Together, Cilium and Tetragon give you an X-ray of Kubernetes. You don't just know that packets are flowing. You know what's happening inside the pods themselves. Deployment is also straightforward. If you're already running Kubernetes, you can install Cilium as your container network interface. Hubble and Tetragon are additional Helm charts. Using custom resource definitions to configure what you want to observe or enforce. The beauty is that this is native. You don't need sidecar proxies. You don't need agents inside every pod. You're not injecting complexity. You're leveraging the kernel itself via eBPF to provide observability and security at the lowest possible level. Now that we have looked at Thousand Eyes for outside in visibility and Cilium with Tetragon for inside out observability, let's step back and compare them to the old way of doing things. Think about how we traditionally monitored the internet path. We had ping, we had tracer out, we had maybe a few SNMP graphs from routers. But let's be honest, and those tools were designed in the 1980s and 1990s for a world where the entire network was under your control. Ping will tell you if something responds. Tracer root will show you a chain of IPS if those routers allow ICMP in the first place. SNMP will give you CPU and interface stats from your own gear. But none of this tells you what's happening across an ISP backbone or a global cloud provider's edge. Thousand Eyes changes that. Instead of just asking, is it up? It continuously measures, maps, and visualizes. It doesn't just show you a string of IPS. It shows you the real providers the real hops, the actual packet loss, and whether BGP routes have changed. It's not a 1990s flashlight. It's a 2025 floodlight. Now let's look at Kubernetes. Traditionally, how did we monitor and secure workloads inside a cluster? We relied on packet captures, maybe sidecar proxies, sometimes firewall logs or flow records, but all of these are blunt instruments. They show traffic, but they don't know identities. They don't tell you which pod belongs to which service or what process was spawned inside a container. Cilium and Tetragon are different. Because they live in the kernel via eBPF, they can see context. They know that this pod is part of the payment service. They know that this container just opened a socket to the database. They know that this process is unusual compared to the baseline. So what do these new tools replace? Thousand Eyes replaces blind internet guessing with hard data and global visibility. Cilium and Tetragon replace outdated packet sniffing and static firewall logs with dynamic, identity-aware, runtime observability. And why are they better? Because they shorten mean time to detect. They shorten mean time to resolve. They let you prove root cause faster, fix issues sooner, and protect your credibility. Imagine a 2 a.m. outage bridge. With the old tools, you're fumbling around, trying to guess. With the new tools, you're sharing dashboards that show the exact problem in the exact place with the exact evidence. That's not just a technical upgrade. That's a career upgrade. It's the difference between being seen as the person who panics and the person who brings calm, clarity, and confidence. Now you might be thinking, all of this sounds powerful, but is it complicated to set up? The good news is, not at all. Thousand Eyes is built for simplicity. You can start in just a few minutes. All it takes is installing a small agent. 
You can put it on a laptop, on a server, or deploy it in a cloud VM. Once it's running, you go into the cloud dashboard. Tell it what to test, a website, a SaaS application, a DNS service, and immediately you start getting results. There's no need to rack appliances. There's no need for complex SNMP configurations. It's cloud first, agent driven and incredibly lightweight. Cilium and Tetragon are also straightforward, especially if you already work with Kubernetes. Cilium installs as your cluster's container network interface. That means you don't bolt it on, it is your networking. Enabling Hubble gives you observability right away, showing you flows in real time. Adding Tetragon is just another Helm chart with custom resource definitions that let you specify what you want to watch for. The beauty of this approach is that it scales with your cluster. You don't have to deploy hundreds of sidecars. You don't have to instrument every pod. Instead, you tap directly into the kernel and the kernel gives you visibility across the board. So whether it's Thousand Eyes or Cilium with Tetragon, you don't need a massive project plan to get started. You don't need six months of professional services. You can deploy, test, and start seeing value almost immediately. That's important because in the middle of an outage, speed matters. And in terms of ROI, the faster you get data, the faster you save money, time, and trust. So let's wrap this up. We live in a world where networks are bigger than our own LANs and WANs. Applications span clouds, ISPs, and Kubernetes clusters. Users connect from anywhere and they expect everything to work all the time. When something breaks, and it will, the question is, will you be the engineer in the dark guessing or will you be the engineer with the data proving? Thousand Eyes gives you the outside in view. It's the MRI for the internet, showing you where along the path things are broken across ISPS, clouds, and SAAS. Cilium and Tetragon give you the inside-out view. They're the X-ray for Kubernetes, showing you pod-to-pod -pod flows, identities, processes, and security events in real time. Together, they close the visibility gap. They give you confidence, they give you credibility, they save you time, money, and stress. The ROI isn't just about fewer minutes of downtime. It's about trust. When leadership asks, what's going on? You don't say, we're still investigating. You say, here's what's happening. Here's the evidence. Here's what we're doing to fix it. That's what these tools bring. Clarity in chaos, proof in pressure, calm in crisis. So the final question I'll leave you with is this. In your next outage, do you want to be the engineer who is blamed? or the engineer who is trusted. Because in this world, visibility equals control, and control equals confidence. Thank you for watching and remember, the future of networking isn't just about speed or capacity, it's about observability. Because if you can't see it, you can't fix it.